Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. For today's video, we are going to be making pinwheel cookies. Um, these are some things that I just kind of looked up on Pinterest and I thought it would be fun to make and we are all excited to try these out. So the first one with the pinwheel has a couple steps to it because of how it is made. So we're gonna do all of that in today's video and then the next one that we're going to be doing is, I have my little notes right here, the whipped shortbread. I'm going to probably do two different designs when it comes to that one. One's gonna have sprinkles and the other one is gonna have chocolate chips with some chocolate drizzle on top. So hopefully you guys enjoy all the recipes that I'm going to share with you. We're not gonna just do cookies, we're also gonna do some breads and some salads for um, the holiday season. And then these are things that you can side and bring along if you have to go to family events and stuff. So I'm excited to share this with you guys today, so let's get started. I'm going to start out with the pinwheel cookies first. I needed to have some butter softened. I am like the worst person when it comes to taking things out ahead of time. Sometimes I end up having to use my microwave because I forget to take it out. You know in the comments down below also if you are one of them people that cooks like every cookie for the holidays, I am not that person. I cook little batches of cookies for the month and that is about it just because we don't want to have all them cookies sitting around i'd rather just make little batches and then eat them up first and then make another batch and eat them up or make a big batch and just put them in the freezer so you have them on hand for another time but I was making some cookies for ourselves and for the kids youth group that night. So I wanted to try out this recipe. I didn't think it was too complicated to make. The only problem that I had was when I layered everything. Uh, I didn't layer it the way that it was supposed to. So I did have a hard time doing that. I don't even think I shared part of that in today's video. Uh, but I have the recipe for you so you can go back and check it out. Let me know in the comments if you have made this recipe before or something similar. I think it turned out so cute and the kids want me to make it again. All right, so we are going to add our flour. You're going to add your flour a little bit by a little bit as you mix it. I just learned this. I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel about this. But when you're adding your flour to your measuring cup, it's better to spoon it into your cup than to scoop it with your cup because it pushes all the flour down and it, that's not what you're supposed to do. So if you see me doing something weird or different, that's just what I read and I went with it and hopefully, you know, that's something that I'm supposed to be doing. So I think it turned out good anyways. All right, so I made three separate bowls out of this uh, batch. I have my red, my green, and then I just kept the one, the regular color. I mixed this up really good just because I needed to um, have the red bowl and then I needed the green bowl. If you guys let food coloring sit for a little bit or you put it in the freezer or in the fridge, the colors do get brighter. We've had to try out that with like reds and blacks before and it works out perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go and get this whipped up really quick and then I'll come back. So I need to make these into flat layers so that I can put these in the fridge for a little bit. I want them to go in for a little bit just because you want them to be able to roll easy for you, but you don't want them to be too hard where they just kind of like break and crumble as you roll them. I'm going to just wrap these quick and then I'm going to put these in the fridge. We are gonna move on to the next recipe while these are in the fridge. Evelyn's gonna do the next recipe and help me out and that is gonna be in the next clip. Evelyn is always 
always the one that wants to jump in and help me out with videos. So Evelyn's gonna take over today. She is going to add everything to the mixer. Since last year, she has been able to use the mixer and she also is getting better and better with measuring out things. So I just kind of tell her like, hey, I need two cups of this, I need two cups of this. I also showed her how to use the spoon to spoon everything into the um, measuring cup and she did a really good job. So maybe someday in the future, Evelyn will have her own cooking show on YouTube. So we'll figure that out when the time comes. But for right now, she can just help me out and we are going to get these cookies done. So this is my first time making these cookies. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried making shortbread cookies. They were delicious. All right, so Evelyn's gonna take over now. She's gonna get this mixed up for me and then I'm gonna take over and roll these out and cook them for a little bit and do all of the rest in the rest of the clips. All right, with these cookies, you're going to want to roll them out in small little balls. Actually roll them out a little too big. I could have like, I don't know. I should have used like a little cookie scooper for these um, because I think I made them a little too big for the type of cookie that they were. And you were supposed to get so many dozen and I did not. So I think I messed up on that, but that's okay. They still turned out perfect. They are a little weird to roll out just because of how super soft they are. Um, but overall they turned out great. So this tray is going to be the tray that I add sprinkles. And all I'm going to do with these is just indent the center i think i used a spoon for that and then i put a little sprinkle on them the next one is going to be the chocolate chips so i did put them in the oven first before i added the chocolate chip and then that way they didn't fully melt into the cookie it just kind of settled in there a little bit and then i was able to add the chocolate uh, drizzle on top so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead here and i will come back after i get everything done we are going to go back to the pinwheel cookie i took them the layers out of the fridge and they were a little colder than i wanted them to be uh, they need to be cold and still a little bit pliable so that you can put the layers together when you roll them out and what i should have did is just did that right away before i put them in the saran wrap um, but trial and error and it worked out anyways. So that's what I'm gonna do here quick. I am going to put these layers together. We are going to roll them up and then we are going to add a layer of sprinkles on the outside before we cut them.
so that is everything for today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.